Hello students, I guess you have seen the previous videos and in the previous video we discussed the work done by static frictional force. Today we are going to discuss the work done by the kinetic frictional force. So over here in the diagram you can see a block on which an external force is applied and because of the application of external force the block is sliding. That means the external force is greater than the maximum value of frictional force. And therefore the point of application of frictional force is in motion and the frictional force is doing work. And obviously this work done by the frictional force will be negative. This work done is WFK is equals to FK dot S. So which is FK into S cos 180. So it is minus FK into S. And now because the surface is assumed to be fixed, there is no displacement of the surface. The work done by the kinetic frictional force on the surface is zero, but on the block it is negative. So we can, if we are assuming the ground plus block as a system, the work done by the kinetic frictional force on this system is overall negative. On the ground it is zero and on the block it is negative. So overall it is negative. Now let us assume another case in which we have a block M which is again resting on a larger block having mass capital M. And suppose we give the upper block a velocity V0. Now, the upper block is given a velocity V0 and let us assume that the upper block has slid by a distance x1 and the lower block in the same time has slid by a distance x2. So, work done by the friction on the upper block is F dot x1 and the work done by the friction on the lower block is f dot x2. Now f dot x1 is equals to f into x1 cos 180. So it is minus f x1. That is because the work done by friction opposes the displacement x1. The work done by the friction on the lower block is f x2 because f and x2 are unidirectional. That is they are in the same direction. Therefore, the total work done on the upper block small m and the lower block capital M system is WF small m plus WF on capital M. So it is minus FX1 plus FX2. So it is minus of FX1 minus X2. Now because you can see over here that X1 is greater than X2. Therefore, X1 minus X2 is positive. So the work done W is equals to minus instead of F we can write mu mg. So W is equals to minus mu small m into g x1 minus x2 and because x1 minus x2 is positive therefore this work done is overall negative. So from this discussion we can conclude that when two surfaces slide relative to each other kinetic frictional force does some amount of positive work on one surface and it also does some amount of negative work or zero work on the other surface okay now what happens actually is that kinetic frictional force does positive work on one surface and it does zero or negative work on the other surface but the magnitude of the negative work or the size of the negative work done is always larger in comparison to the positive or obviously zero work and therefore, we say that the overall work done by the kinetic frictional force on the system is always negative. 